in order to defeat enemy tanks, great emphasis was placed after World War II on armament. The result was progressive increases in the caliber of tank guns, the development of new types of ammunition with greater armor-piercing capabilities, and the introduction of more sophisticated fire control systems to improve tank guns' ability to hit targets accurately. The last years of World War II saw the development of more effective anti-tank ammunition the armor-piercing, discarding Sabo APDS projectiles, these had a smaller caliber, hard tungsten carbide core inside a light casing. The casing fell away on leaving the gun barrel, while the core flew on at an extremely high velocity. The most sophisticated weapon developed during Cold War is anti-tank guided missiles. Initial missile variants employed manual guidance, while latter variants have wire guidance system. Conversely, APDS rounds further evolve into armor-piercing fin stabilized discarding Sabo APFSDS, which is primarily direct fire, hypersonic, kinetic energy anti-armor projectile. These projectiles have long rod penetrator cores of tungsten alloy or depleted uranium. Although guided missile can engage tank with high accuracy and have fire and forget capability, but APFSDS rounds are still preferred by tank crew despite its origin dated back to late World War II era. In this video, we will analyze the advantages and disadvantages of using these rounds. The primary choice of using APFSDS over ATGM is its short flight time. Modern AP rounds can travel at a speed of around 1700 meters per second giving them near hypersonic profile. If it is fired at a target with a range of 2000 meters and target is moving across, the shell with the speed gives defender only a reaction time of 1.17 seconds. The counter reaction from tank would be to face the shell on the frontal arc and traverse rotation of hull is around 10 seconds. In this way tank will be able to rotate only 38 degree of hull. The reaction would occur likely if a flash of fire is spotted otherwise it will be a surprise shot. APFSDS round doesn't alert enemy during aiming unless laser range finder is used. There are other covert methods to calculate distance for the ballistic computer, like image scaling or measuring distance of an object near the target. Gun-launched missiles are ATGMs which are fired from tank guns either 125mm or 120mm. Most commonly used are Russian 125mm Reflex, Ukrainian Combat, Israeli 120mm Lahat. ATGMs can engage target at range of 4000 meters, but we will analyze it at distance of 2000 meters, similar to APFSDS. Average speed of ATGMs is around 280 meters per second. At 2000 meters, it gives flight time of around 7.14 second. The reaction time against anti-tank missile starts when gunner points laser at the target and starts tracking it. Total reaction time is around 10 seconds. Complete 360-degree rotation of turret of MBT is around 9 seconds. In 10 seconds Defender will react easily utilizing soft kill countermeasures. Time for 90 degrees turret rotation is just 2.5 seconds. After rotation it will create smoke screen and change the location. Most MBTs around the world are equipped with laser warning receivers, which not only raise alarm but also indicates the bearing of the laser beam, with this the position of firing tank is compromised. ATGMs are for advantage of range and penetration, it can penetrate around 800 to 1100 mm of armor, and warhead is of tandem shaped charge which can easily defeat explosive reactive armor. Guided missiles can be effectively used against armor vehicles lacking an active protection system. Cost is another factor for ammo choice. Depleted uranium APFSDS shell cost around 10,000 US dollars, while reflex cost is around 37,000 dollars. Penetration of APFSDS is around 800 mm rolled homogeneous armor at 2000 meters. Further active protection system does not influence much in AP engagement. Only ERA panels affects penetration. 
Tactics and techniques are required to utilize both rounds effectively, like an ATGM engagement the gunner aims at an object which is near the target, and when missile completes its half flight, then he can point the laser on the target, giving defender half reaction time. Both weapons have their own advantages but when it comes to choosing between APFSDS and ATGM, the former is preferable.